Taylor Jr., President of the Cumberland Historic Cemetery Organization. Today is Saturday, April the 22nd, 2017. We are here at the historic Pollock Cemetery adopted by the Cumberland Historic Cemetery Organization in 2001 and restored shortly thereafter. We are here today to celebrate Confederate History Month, which is April. Uh, it's uh, about 1.30 at 2 o'clock. Our members will be arriving and descendants of the Pollock family. We are here near the CNO Canal and the small grass pathway we keep cut here for the hikers and bikers to go over and visit our adopted site. And uh, soon we will have the memorial service for the Confederate heroes that are buried here. Just ask you to be with this organization that it may continue to grow and do the things that we do. For all these things we ask and pray in our name. Amen. 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 Who puts the flags back here? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, thank you. Um, for the sake of our YouTube video, this is our fifth one that we're producing since January the 2nd. Uh, today is Saturday, April the 22nd, 2017. We're here in the Mexico Farms area at the Ender River Road just south of the city of Cumberland in Allegheny County, Maryland at one of Allegheny County's most important historical Civil War cemeteries. Um, as most of you know, we're here with descendants of the Pollocks uh, who traveled from other counties throughout the great state of Maryland. Um, every year in April we hold this Memorial Day event in honor of April being Confederate history. Um, our speaker uh, for today will be our Allegheny County Tourism Bureau Director, Barb Buell. Um, our information that we have over the years with this cemetery, this, we've put a great deal of resources and labor into the site. Um, prior to 2001, uh, James Pollock's grave right here was just a rock with JP etched in it. In 2001, we built this beautiful ledger crypt which tells his history. And then a few years later, we discovered his sister is buried back here in the corner, Sally Pollock. There were only a few female Confederate spies during the war, and we're lucky to have one of them right here. Sally has a very fascinating history. And in the summer of 2004, after we put the monument in, in April of that year, one of the local theaters uh, produced a play about the life history of Sally Pollock. It went over quite well. Last year, we were able to get ceramic tiles made of the pictures of James and Sally. The one with James wasn't quite so clear. It's a photo of James reading the newspaper, but the black and white photo we have back there on Sally's monument was very, very clear. Uh, you can see her period dress at the time and very good detail of her facial expressions, that, uh, and it's, it's a very good likeness of what Sally looked like. Last year in April 2016, uh, beyond the trees here, we installed the information monument for the entire Pollock family. That monument was dedicated to Joseph and Hannah, the parents of all these fine folks buried here. Um, the last Pollock to be buried in this site was four years ago. Our dear member, Rennes Pollock, he's buried over in the corner. Uh, first burial in the cemetery since 1929. Quite a gap in between um, burials uh, in this historic site. Directly behind us, we have the National Park. The uh, cemetery gets a lot of visitors seven days a week, hikers and bikers, and therefore that's why we have the outdoor brochure racks, which we're constantly filling, and people are here to take advantage of the wonderful history at this site. We're going to make this service a little bit short this year because of the bad weather. Uh, we're sort of lucky. This is the 16th year we've had this event, and this is the first year it rained, so we can't really complain. At this point, I'll turn the microphone over to Barb, and uh, she can uh, give a little talk. I'm, I've been invited to the ceremony in the 12 years. Um, I do want to, I, I spent some time yesterday really looking up tourism and historic cemeteries and found some, I thought, some good information. And I think for a lot of people, um, a lot of travelers, their first thought isn't for a fun vacation to come to include visitation to a local cemetery. Here. But what I found in my research is this trend is changing. 
No longer are people concerned that this is just a place for sadness and to be solemn, but this is a place that abounds with history, culture, art, architecture, and it's something that needs to be visited. Um, it allows locals and tourists alike to learn about those that went before us. Um, those that are interested in whether it's history, genealogy, architecture, photography, of which I go into a lot of the local art stores, and a lot of the photography is from our local cemeteries. Um, they will find something here that interests them, and more and more people are discovering that. Um, where we are today, particularly, not only... Okay, this is the second half of our Confederate History Month YouTube video. Uh, April the 22nd, 2017. Uh, we have concluded with our Confederate Historic Pollock Cemetery ceremony down in Mexico Farm, south of Cumberland. And we are now in Rose Hill Cemetery on Fayette Street on the west side of the city of Cumberland, Maryland. Uh, this obelisk here, this was put in by the Ladies Auxiliary here in Cumberland, Maryland in 1912 to six Confederate Civil War soldiers. Um, there are bronze plaques, too, on each side. Uh, since 1983, when our organization began, we would always keep flowers and a Confederate flag here as our tribute to these Confederate gentlemen. And as part of our April 2017 Confederate History Month, uh, we just installed this beautiful monument, which contains our corporate seal, and it says the Cumberland Historic Cemetery Organization honors these six Confederate soldiers for their sacrifice for the great Southern cause. These heroes upheld states' rights and fought for the St. Andrew's Cross, the Confederate flag, which is a Christian American symbol for the Confederate States of America. May the Lord Jesus Christ have mercy on their souls and all souls. The monument was installed April A.D. 2017. These graves are designated and protected by the Cumberland Historic Cemetery Organization. And as I said, this is another one of our designated and protected grave sites.